This is the Gleaners Corporate Coffee Mornings. My guest is Roderick Francis, and he is CEO of B&D Trolling Company Limited. No, Roderick, welcome back. Thank you, Barbara. I noticed recently that your company did two interesting things. One was a beach cleanup. Yes. And the other was that you highlighted some of your hearing impaired members of staff or deaf members of yes. staff. And those are two very commendable things. Number one, you need to keep your environment clean. Why have you decided to go that route? Well, certainly. Um, <clears throat> within the Pija Keys and the Pija Banks, um, during the conch season, yes. um, you have a lot of persons who venture from the mainland to to the Pedro Keys, which are very small islands mm -hmm. um, with very little in infrastructure um, that partake in, in the fishing of, of the, the conch. Prior to uh, last year, there was no really formal um, cleanup um, removal of the garbage of, from Pedro Key. So you can imagine there was some pile up and they used to burn some at the time and, and all of that. Now recently the ministry has implemented a system mm -hmm. to remove any waste garbage from the Pedro Key. But in general no major cleanup was done. Right. So what we did was actually get a team together from here. We sent, sent our boats down, we, we gathered everybody from on the island and we just did a major cleanup. Um, and when that was finished, we planted coconut trees and things. So if you want to go there now and relax and kick back with a martini, it's fine. You'll see no excellent, garbage. Excellent, excellent. And, and <coughs> the difference in the photos that I saw, stark difference. I mean, you can see sand and everywhere is clean. Also. So that's, that's commendable. But, yeah. but long before the, the recent legislation to protect the rights of the, the disabled, your company was employing deaf people. Yes, and, and as a matter of fact, we are so happy <clears throat> with, with those workers. We want to say to Jamaica that you need to go out there, you need to look for some of these persons that may be hearing impaired, and they can do the job just as well as just about anybody else. They are very intelligent, very capable, they just have to communicate in a different way than we do by For speaking. as long as 24 years <clears throat> in some instances you've employed. Yes, they, they actually came to us as young women. Yes. <laughs> They're now grown with families, owning homes. Uh, you know, it's, it, it's, it's a beauty to see them develop in that way. So how else, do you, how else does B&D trawling give back to society? Well, in general, you know, we, we are a very family-like organization right. and we help a lot of our workers in terms of help giving them interest-free loans to, to help and, you know, establish themselves with housing, um, anything they may need. Um, <clears throat> we also recently did a donation to a fishing beach in, um, in St. Thomas, yes. who needed light because they were having their, their gears and engines stolen. Mm -hmm. So we donated some solar lighting to them. Excellent. So they don't have to pay for, for any light anymore at night. So the sun gives us the energy that we need. But overall, we're a very family-like institution who has a very close relationship with the fishing community. and our workers in general. What, what do you see in the next 30 years for your company? In the next 30 years for our company, uh, we are going to develop several types of seafood for export. Okay. Um, Jamaica's waters, waters are very rich in, in sustainable fisheries. Yes. And our company has the ability to pioneer and actually develop these fisheries. That's, that's our competitive advantage. Yes. So um, while others 
seek to replicate, we lead and develop. Okay, good. That's our strength. Thank you, Roderick. All the best. Was my pleasure. Okay. okay. We have been talking to Roderick Francis, CEO of B and D Trawling Company Limited, and they are one of the island's leading exporters of seafood.